I like I like legitimately don't know how they're going to take like the difference though because I've been growing it for like a whole year and then all of a sudden I've just cut it all off so they're going to be like really you're filming aren't you? Yeah, yeah I'm filming. You, you got a lot explaining to do. <laughs> okay, really. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, yeah, wow. Um, I do have a lot of explaining to do and thanks for watching this video but it's a wig. <laughs> Did I fool anyone? No, I'm just kidding with you. You guys know I would not spend a whole year and a bit growing my hair out just to chop it all off, right? It is definitely a day for wigs. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this video, so if you want to know more about these male wigs, keep watching, okay? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Thomas if you're brand new here and I make style and hair related videos or style and wig videos every single week here on YouTube. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and come back next week. So what are we doing in today's video? We are definitely trying on wigs and I just wanted to cover why I even went for this, right? Because usually I do a lot of hair videos about my own hair. If you've been following me for a while now, you'll know I've been talking a lot about hair growth and really, really waiting out the, the growing out process. And I thought, man, what if I wanted to just have short hair for a minute? It's totally possible. But not only that, wigs are a really great uh, thing for guys that are balding, guys that are feeling maybe a little bit ashamed about not having so much hair, or even for guys that just want to change up their look, you know? It's 2018, we are all able to express our individuality these days, and that is my main message, so why not? I felt like wigs definitely fell into the bucket of Thomas in Action, so here we are. Also, I'm gonna be giving myself a little bit of a challenge today. I'm gonna to be answering every single comment that comes onto this video in the first 24 hours, okay? So if you've ever wanted to have your questions answered or just say something to me, you better believe in the first 24 hours of this video going live, I will be responding to every single comment. And that means even if there's a thousand comments, I'm gonna be responding to a thousand people. Don't challenge me, okay? I'll see you in the comments. So yeah, Hair You Wear has been kind enough to provide us with these two wigs. They didn't actually reach out to me and do a brand deal. This is not sponsored. I was just thinking of really cool content ideas that I could put out for you guys. And I reached out to them and I said, hey, your wigs look really cool, really realistic, and I want to scare the shit out of my audience. So what do you think? And they happily sent me over two wigs. The two wigs we're trying today are Edge and Daring. And I will be leaving links to these in the description box below. It doesn't really matter what your, your reasoning for wanting to wear a wig is. I mean, they're a pretty cool thing to try and the hairline on these is freaky. Obviously, I couldn't get these in the mail and not try them straight away. I have tried them already. And let me tell you, learning how to wear a wig is a process in itself. So, and I'm gonna do, be doing it all for you today and showing you what I've learned over the last couple of weeks. So I thought we'd cover the structure of the wigs first, seeing as like my first impression of a wig was a wig from Crazy Clarks, which is like the cheap shop. And they're probably the worst wigs you could probably ever buy. I didn't really notice how much actually goes into the cap of these. So if we unfold it like this, we've got all of these, which you call the wefts. I learned this term actually when my friend Travis turned me into a drag queen. We, he taught me about these being the wefts of the wig. So they're what the hair is actually stitched to. And then at the front here, you've got the lace front cap. The lace front cap is essentially just like a bit of mesh with all of the hairs stitched into it. So when it sits on your forehead about here, you act, it just looks like a normal hairline. That's what it's supposed to do. And there's all different types of things you can do to make your wig look uh, a lot more realistic. So by wearing a wig cap, you can like tuck all your hair back. And yeah, we're gonna do it today. I, I actually just cannot wait to start doing it for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. I've shown you the inside of the wig. When you do get a wig as well, you have to be very gentle and very careful with it because the hair has been stitched into this thing. And if you're too rough with it, the hair obviously can fall out. And unfortunately with a wig, the hair doesn't grow back. Go figure. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get to it. In this section of beginners for wigs or wigs for beginners, I kind of just thought I need to get all of this hair to sit as flat as possible. And A, a wig cap's gonna help me do that, but if I don't have something else to pin my hair down or make it more closer to my head, then I'm kind of gonna have trouble with it and it's gonna look all bumpy and lumpy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tie these little tiny elastics around the bottom of my hair. My hair's still a bit damp, so it's still moldable, which is cool. And then tie this one back as well. Oh, this is gonna look so groovy. Step one is I just tied them like this at the back. And then what I do is just get a thousand Brazilian bobby pins. And I'm gonna try, I've gotta make it as flat as possible, right? That's the deal. I chuck another one in it. So I've got those pinned up. I've actually got like a thousand bobby pins ready to go because my hair is that unruly. It just does whatever the hell it wants, whenever it wants. So and then once we've got that set in, 
just gonna do a little bit here. I really can't wait to see their reaction. Ow. All right, that's looking pretty good to me. That's like as close to my head as I'm gonna get it, not being a professional. I don't know how drag queens do this all the time, man. I'm like, they're, they're dedicated. All right, now it's time for the wig cap. This is where it gets really freaky looking as well. So, <laughs> oh my God. Kind of like morphs over my whole head. I'm only a newbie at this as well, all right? Give me a break. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> also, if you feel like your wig cap's not sitting properly, you can use like a big wad of tape over your head. I've seen drag queens do it before, but because I'm not a drag queen and I just don't have the resources for it, I just kind of am gonna go with what I have today. Wig 101. I thought I was gonna try the edge one on first, but I think I actually wanna try the daring wig on first. So this one's more of like a ashy blonde color. Very, very different. And if we have a look at the hairline of this one as well, the hairline's completely different to my normal hairline. My normal hairline's quite jagged, as many of you have pointed out in the comment section below before. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try this bad boy on and here we go. So <laughs> let's get him on. Uh, is he on the biggest? Yes. We'll adjust that Velcro. He has Velcro on the inside of him as well. And now it's time to put him on. <laughs> Whoa, surfer man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think you can also get wigs cut to the way that you want them as well. So if I kind of wanted to go to the hairdresser and get this one cut to a little bit shorter on the sides, I could probably do that to give it more of an undercut kind of look. For the most part, it's actually, it's such a different look compared to what I'm used to. Wow. And that hairline though, like look at it. <laughs> oh, so you can see it like flap up there. That's what it looks like. But like when you put it down, it kind of just blends in and kind of like goes in with my skin. Like. <laughs> I don't think you can tie these up like a man bun either, like because you'll all the whips, uh, wefts will get exposed to it. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty cool. What do I look like to you? <laughs> Leave me a comment. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, oh. You know what, I could even potentially pass as something from Dragon Ball Z. I'm like a Super Saiyan or something like that. So this is daring, guys. Just wanted to show you that close up. Have another close look at the hairline there. All right, now let's get Edge on. We'll try the other wig on and yeah, get into it. All right, now I've taken that one off. I'm gonna reapply these wig caps. Surely there's like a more like sturdy method to doing wig caps. I guess on my wig journey, I'm gonna have to figure it out a little bit more. But for now, these bad boys are all we've got to play with. Okay, time to try this guy on. I look like a big part of K-pop right now. Oh, oh, come on, hairline. Yeah, see, if I like tuck that hairline up right there, you, that's too far forward. Like whose hairline comes to there? It just doesn't work like that. So obviously you've got to work the wig back, but the trouble is like, oh, I think this one actually might be a little bit too small for me, but it does look pretty cool. I can't believe how much it like changes my face. I look so much younger. <laughs> That's a first, the wig cap staying in place. It's about making it look as realistic as possible. Now, I don't even think these sideburn bits are like, for a young kid, I don't think they're that, that in fashion. I mean, this would definitely go well on an older guy or it's like a Leonardo DiCaprio look, if you know what I mean, like back in the day when he was super, super young. Uh, you don't see too many young guys rolling around with this right now, but I guess in terms of wearing a wig for a day, like I guess you could rock it, like easy. <laughs> a little more believable, hey, it's crazy. And the actual hair itself looks quite realistic. Like it looks like real hair, but I'm pretty sure they are synthetic. I'll give you a back look at this one as well. It's so weird. I haven't seen myself with short hair for so long. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think of this one as well. This one's called Edge, and the colouring of these also comes in multiple different colours. You can get them in blonde, you can get them in lighter brown, dark brown. Oh, there you go, there's the hairline. It looks, cre looks pretty disguised there, doesn't it? Yeah, this is my real hairline. What? <laughs> I think my head is a little bit bigger than most people as well. So, this one definitely takes a minute to get right, but once you do, it's actually pretty cool looking. 
So yeah guys, that is me trying on these Hey You Wear wigs from the Him range. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'd be really keen to know your thoughts or how I made you feel when I first started this video with short hair. I just can't believe it. I haven't had short hair in so long. Um, so it's very, very different. And just remember, if you want to wear wigs, Hell, just go and wear one. Go and get one. Make sure you know what your size is as well and make sure you do a little bit of research on how to put one on because they can be very tedious. It's 2018, remember that. You can express yourself in whatever way you want. These would also be a great thing for the growing out process. If you are struggling with that awkward stage and you really wanna kind of do something to make yourself look a bit different or cover up that bad hair day, something like this could really work for you because they're quite realistic looking and yeah, <laughs> pretty funky, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, make sure you join the Facebook group if you haven't already as well, Hairstyles in Action. And also keep in mind, I will be responding to every single comment that comes in on this video within the first 24 hours. So if you want your comment responded to, make sure you head down there straight after watching this video and I'll get back to you. Again, if there's a thousand comments, I will be replying to a thousand people. Other than that, have a great week and I will see you next week for another video, okay? Goodbye. Men's hair piece. Men's hair pieces. Before and after. Boy wigs. Wigs for males. Male wig. Men's wigs. Men's wigs that look real. Men's wigs human hair. Men's wigs long hair. Men's wigs UK. Men's wigs and hair pieces.